holy crap. So now I have the fourth root of 27 divided by the square root of 3. All right. So the way that I'm going to solve this problem, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to convert it to rational exponents. Okay? And then I'm going to see how I can simplify this a little bit further. So this becomes um, 27 to the 1 fourth power over 3 to the 1 half power. Now, you guys already know how to, if I was going to do this, um, if I want to simplify this by radicals, you know you can multiply by the square root of 2 over 2 on the top and bottom. What do I need to multiply by? What do I need to multiply my denominator by then to get that to be 3 to the first power? What do I need to add 1 half to to get it to 1? Therefore, I need to multiply by 3 to the 1 half power on top and bottom, right? Right? No, Ryan? Is incorrect? That's right, right? Therefore, 27 to the 1 fourth times 3 to the 1 half over 3 to the 2 over 2, right? Because 1 half plus 1 half is 2 over 2, which then just equals 3. But here comes our problem now, because now we got an issue. Because there's a special rule. We said a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n, right? We did not say a to the m times b to the n. What does that equal? No, we haven't gone over any kind of rules with this. So guess what? This is just going to be a to the m times b to the n. You can't do any special operations when your bases are different. So right now, we have a base of 27 or we have a base of 3. We need, them to, we need to get them to be the exact same base. So there's a couple ways. You could say, how can I make 3 into 27? Or you could say, how can I make 27 into 3? And let's look at the 27 going down to 3. So we can, can we write 27 then as a base 3? Is it 3 squared, 3 cubed, 3 to the fourth? Is there any of them? Does anybody know? 3 cubed, exactly. So we can rewrite this now as 3 cubed to the 1 fourth power times 3 to the 1 half power over 3. Well, now when we have a, a number raised to another exponent, a to the m times n equals a to the m times n. So 3 to the 1 fourth power is going to be 3 fourths. All right? And then what's uh, 3 fourths plus 1 half? Right, because now we've got to add them. So now you've got to do 3 over 4 plus 1 half. Get them to be the same denominators. Right? Yes? Follow me? Fractions? Everybody's arch nemesis. So therefore, we get 3 to the 5 halves divided by 3. Now. Let's have a little more fun. a to the m divided by a to the n, what do we do with our exponents? Subtract. Wait, where do you get 5 over 2? That was 5 over 4. That is 5 over 4, thank you. So now I need to subtract 5 over 4 minus 3 to the first power. Well, 1 is equal to 4 over 4, right? Yes? So therefore, my final answer is 3 to the 5 over 4, 5 over 4, minus 4 over 4, which equals 3 to the 1 fourth power. Sorry? I converted 3 to the first power to 3 to the 4 over 4. Right? When you divide, you subtract the exponents. So what I have is 5 over 4. Jeez. Oh, I have 5 over 4 minus 1, right? When you divide, you subtract the exponents. So I have 5 over 4 minus, minus 1. Well, 5 over 4 minus 4 over 4. You have to convert this so now they have the same denominators, which is 1 fourth. So your final answer is? 3 to the 1 fourth power. Yes? So can you not just divide the 3? Because like, it's not like it's a variable where you just have to keep it for a number. 
again, going back to the rule, when you have two terms with exponents, the base remains the same. You just subtract the exponents. Okay? That's it. So yes, you're not dividing the threes or anything. You just take the exponents and subtract them. Okay? Any last questions? No, Dimitri? No questions? Okay. And I'll go back to my example. If let's let's take